This is my LBV88 split rig. I absolutely love it. I've been using this style split rigs my entire life, basically, because when I was a kid, that's what was around. Vietnam ended in, I think, 73. So as I was growing up, all that surplus was what was available to us when we would play. You know, we'd play Army in the Woods, and that's how my whole passion for all this got started. Now, the LBV-88, I believe, came out in 1988, and it was developed from the Alice system. But as far as split rigs and, you know, Y harness, H harness, all that goes all the way back to, you know, World War One, World War Two. You see the guys, that's what they were wearing. And now in 2024, you know, the huge thing are chest rigs. The biggest thing I tell people is it all depends on what you're going to do, right? What's the mission? What's your job? What are you doing? So as far as the chest rigs go, obviously it's, you know, what you're doing. If I was working at a place where there's shootings all the time and stabbings all the time, well, I need to have that rig on so I can conceal that. I can have that body armor or those plates because that's what it calls for. If I'm out in the woods, right, and I'm trekking and I know that I'm going to be hiking for eight miles, you know, a day for... I don't know, a day, two, three, four, who knows how long. I'm obviously not going to be wearing, you know, my chest rig. It doesn't, it doesn't work. You try and hike around in that because it constricts you. It takes you a while if you haven't ever worn one. But when it, you first get it on, it can be a very, you know, people freak out. You'll see them put them on and they want it off right now because it's a very unnatural thing. It compresses, you know, your bones. I go with split rig 100%. And this, again, this is the LBV-88. What's beautiful about these is you can pick these up surplus. I see them all the time on eBay. I picked this one up for $45 free shipping. Okay, that's incredible. New systems that other companies are making that replicate this, $150, bucks, two, $300, $45, military surplus, like new, okay? You're never going to know what you get till you get it, but look at the person's reviews, read about it, contact them. I'm going to talk to you about subscriptions. Now, if you dig my content, you want to see more of it, you subscribing, sharing, liking, whatever it is you do on YouTube helps out the channel, helps me out. So I appreciate it. The LBV88 split rig. And what that means is that, you know, it's like a vest that we put on. You can see it here. It's split. Yeah, okay, you're not closed in on the front. The beauty with this is that you can throw a chest rig on it, right, with your plates or your bulletproof vest, whatever you're wearing, and this will slide right over the top of it. And then if you keep a, you know, flush back, nothing on your back, you can also throw your Alice pack on. You're good to go. It's a complete system. Everything you need right here. And I believe 100% that all of this is coming back, right? A soldier right now in wars that are coming, I believe, you need to have everything on you, what you need to survive. So your shelter, clothing, ammo, communications, food, water, everything on you, on your person. And this kind of a kit works. The belt I'm running is a World War II, I believe it's stamped 1942, canvas pistol belt, beautiful, bulletproof, still works, no problem. And I love it because it's real lightweight. And it's very flexible. It's not all rigid. and That's not my style. I like this. I like everything to be free-flowing. So that's my belt. You can see how it attaches. Okay, this is the bottom. So all these loops here, there's probably, what, two, four, six, eight, ten. On these side plates, it has paracord wrapped through it, so you can adjust that. Okay, it's like a corset. So you can adjust that to fit your body looser, tighter. And on the bottom, they come with these. You're probably familiar with these from the U.S. military poncho. Okay, it's the keeper. It's a lock. So on these, one thing that I see a lot is you'll get them, and the guys have taped them that have been in the military because these are notorious for failing. <laughs> so if this starts coming apart on you, you know, it's like prom night. Clothes are coming off real quick. You can see on this elastic shot cord, well, when you get it from the factory, it's going to be tied off like this. Okay, so what do we have here? We have another loop. 
So as you're navigating, especially out in the woods, <laughs> you're going through bushes and stuff, and you're trying to be self, well, this is going to get caught on everything. Snag, pull, rip your gear off, stop you, make noise. So what I recommend is always take all these loops apart because this stuff, see, it's free, not catching. You can simply come to the end, maybe come up an inch, put a simple overhand knot, okay? Do the same thing on this side. And now your cord lock is secure and you're eliminating that, you know, big loop. Once it's in this position, it's staged, you're good. So you, this is just a military surplus butt pack and you'll have to play with it. There's videos on exactly how, different ways to set this up. Maybe I'll do one. Leave it in the comments below. Let me know. I'll show you how I set mine up. But you can rig up these, you know, military issue butt packs. On each side, I've got just a simple holder. And on one side, I've just got a 32 ounce Nalgene. Okay. And then on this side, just because of my bushcraft stuff, I know how important a vessel is in the woods that's steel. Now it always comes up. Are you ever going to be in a situation where, you know, it's non-permissive, a warlike situation, or you're trying to escape and hide? Well, there's no fire. And the way this would work is you'd gather that dirty water, make a fire and boil it to disinfect this water. So this Pathfinder, this is old. It's rare. Only way is like one more, I think it's two ounces more than this Nalgene. So, hey, I've got steel in a real bad emergency. I can make fire. I can make char cloth. So I carry it. They've got your magazines, holders. So you can run two P mags easily in this one. Okay. And then the one closest to your center carries one P mag. Okay. So that's two, three. And on the other side, the same. Two and three. So you got six. One in your AR. So you got seven on you. That's the magic number that I believe in. You can do what you want. You can carry 20 or 30. <laughs> when you first get this, it's going to come with two grenade pouches mounted here. Okay. They're real small, just grenade pouches. Great quality, but I remove them. Okay. And I do it with these surgical seam rippers. If you don't have one of these, get one. You know, you should be modifying and working on your gear. So pick these up on eBay. They're called surgical seam rippers. To get this off, I bet it took me, each one probably took me 30 minutes. It's an extremely delicate, it's a surgery, literally. And you're going, you're starting inside and you're going stitch by stitch. Extremely delicate because if you rip I'm going to set this down. You don't want it next to this. But if you rip this mesh, that's it. You can repair it. You can see how they do it factory when the military puts on. So, for example, this Fastex buckle. Well, they put backing. So this is just like a Cordura on the back. That's how they stitch into it. So you can repair it. But do you have a sewing machine? Do you know how to sew? I'm telling you, once you rip this, you got problems. What that does is it frees up that entire zone here. Where before, for example, this lived here, okay? So I can still fit this. This is a radio pouch. I can still fit this in, but now I'm covering, right? So when the radio's mounted there, now it's this is in the way. If this is full, it's a lot of hassle. So I remove these, and that frees this up on the front of my body. Here's a nice dump pouch. Very important have a dump pouch on you. you pick them up real cheap. This is by, I think, Condor. I think they're literally like 10, 15 bucks, but just a catch all for everything. And I left this one tied to show you again. So this is how it comes from the factory. Can you see that? That tie? Well, what do we have? Again, loop. Loops are bad. That's your enemy. So on all my gear, I take it, open it. Okay, we're safe. And I'd come here and simply put in my two overhand knots at the bottom just like we did on the bottle carriers. Now this is good. So snag hazards, 
jingle all the way, jingle check. So you'll put on all your gear and you'll jump up and down and you're listening for jingle noise, right? Can't have noise. I'll do a video about it. So I hope you check one out. Always remember too, when you're buying the stuff off eBay, you buy it, you try it out. It doesn't work. Put it back on eBay. Sell it.